Hi, I'm James Schellinglaw, and I'm here in the Czech Republic in Brno. And I'm here in a wonderful hotel, uh, the Hotel Passage. And I'm here with Marketa, and you're going to have to pronounce your last name for me, Marketa. My name is Marketa Bdinkova. Last name is Bdinkova. Bdinkova. So that, that's uh, that my, my, my horrible pronunciation, so it's nice that she said. And she's going to tell us all about this wonderful property, really in the heart of downtown Brno, which is a fabulous, it's the second largest city in the Czech Republic, and there's so much going on here, you really have to send your clients here, and this is a great hotel where they can stay. And you're gonna hear about that and more on Insider Travel Report. Now, Marketa, first of all, it's wonderful to meet you here. And, and I had a tour of your property the other day, and I had to come back and interview you about it. But let's talk about the property. And let, let's start. Where are we located, uh, this hotel? So we are located in the city center on the street Lidicka. So that's the middle, really. It's a very small city. Yeah, you can get anywhere within a few 15, 20 minutes really walking in. This is a great center, city center to come, and you're right in the heart of it. So how many, let's talk a little bit about the accommodations that you are. Well, actually, talk to, talk to me first about the history of the hotel. Uh, it, it, it feels like a modern hotel. It is a modern hotel, but I think it was built on the bones of an older building, right? Yes, exactly. We are a newly opened hotel in the 2020 we have opened. But the building is really, really old because the first opening of this hotel was in the year 1928. That's a, that's a ways, but you would not recognize this as a 1928-year-old building. It feels like brand new, as you'll see as we're, we, we pan across a lot of the facilities here. And so, uh, and, and so then this opened 2020. Not a, not a good year to open a hotel, 2020. Yeah, it was perfect time for opening the hotel. We have opened on January 2020 and on March, in March, sorry, in March we have closed. We have to close. to close. And how long were you closed? How many, how many months were you closed? How many? I think around one year. One year. Oh my God. So, but you had time at that to sort of re, you know, re, regroup, I guess, and reopen again. So essentially you didn't open again until 2021, right? Yeah, maybe it will be better, but I think it was a good decision. Yeah, no, absolutely, no. It's a beautiful hotel. Yes. Now, let's talk about your, your accommodations. First of all, how many keys do you have? How, how many rooms? Yes, we have really nice rooms and also suites. We have together 103 rooms. Mm -hmm. We have also standard rooms, then executive and two Unix rooms. One of them has 115 quadrat meters, and the second one has jacuzzi on the room. I did see that one, yeah. They got some fabulous suites here, but even the standard rooms are pretty big. And you got some nice terraces out and yes. beautiful. So it is a beautiful accommodations and just a little over 100 rooms. So it's really boutique. And plus, you've got some amazing facilities. Let's talk about the food and beverage, the dining. You have two restaurants, right? Yes, we have two restaurants, and we can say boutique hotel but we our conference rooms are for uh, more than 1,000 people so that's the crazy part you you have an yeah. incredible conference we're sitting we're standing in one and tonight we're having a gala dinner for this uh, Czechia trade day and it's just a just a few feet to uh, to the to the left of me and it is a beautiful talk about that the, the ballroom is amazing Yes, it is. Yeah, it <laughs> I have to say, yes, the ballroom uh, is for 700 people, so it's really, really huge space, yeah, so, I so think. Basically yes. you, could, you, could, you're, you have 100 rooms here, maybe that, so maybe you have 200 people total if you had every room booked, but that's not your conference room facilities are even bigger than that, right? Yes, exactly. Now let's talk about the, the dining uh, a little bit. We talked, we started talking about the dining, but you have two restaurants, and, and what are those restaurants? Yes, we have two restaurants. One is for breakfast, and the second one is for also the hotel guests, and, but uh, also for the guests uh, from Brno, not only in Brno, but for public. Right. So, if I so can you, say. Yeah, no, you see, you can come off the street, you could have uh, have a dinner here or lunch or whatever. So it is really, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous, it's, it's overlooking the street. Uh, now, uh, you also have some other facilities. You have, I think you have a yoga place. You have, what are the other facilities you have uh, here at the hotel? We have huge conference spaces. <laughs> that, that's, that's what we, we talked about, huge conference spaces. But you do have yoga and other things yes, like yes. that, right? We have also yoga and we have fitness for our guests. Fitness for the and guests. And then also is really important part of the hotel, our club. 
Oh, the club. That's right. You, yes. The club downstairs. Yeah, it's like, yes. and what's that used for? It's for 150 people. And for after party, it's the better part of the hotel, I think. So is that open? How many days a week is that, is that open? Uh, we use this club for our clients when we have conference. So then for the after party, we can uh, have open every day. Open. We cannot. Uh, the club isn't open. It's not to the public, yes. but it's yes, whatever it's group. For public, yes. Okay. It's not for public, but for conference. No, and that's yes. exactly what we're doing here. I wonder if it's going to be open tonight. We'll see what yeah, happens. Yeah. I don't like that, but it, it's it, it's way it's very deep in the in. So it's kind of a hideaway. Uh, speak. We we call it a speakeasy down below in terms of a bar. So that's pretty cool. Now, anything else you want to tell our travel advisors about the this hotel uh, that they should know about? I think you have to go to Brno because the Brno is really, really nice town and we have lots of spaces for our guests. Not only conference rooms, but also, the, as you said, the fine dining our restaurant. It's really, really nice space. Plus the conference facilities in this amazing ballroom. So if you can, if you have a, a thousand of your closest friends and they want to do uh, a, a little function here, yes. you're probably the place to do it in Brno, right? When we have available meeting rooms, then yes. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, Marketa, thank you so much. It, it's, it was wonderful touring around the hotel, and I have to go back and stay one of these days because it really is centrally located in this wonderful city of Brno. Again, the second largest city in. Czech Republic, and it's one of those places that your clients really will get to know, and also the surrounding re region, and we're going to be doing videos and all kinds of things about Moravia and around here. Great wine, great yeah. beer somewhere. It, it, there's no shortage and of nice great people, food. So. And nice and people. Nice people. Nice yeah. people, too. Absolutely. Marquette, again, thank you so much. Thank you, also. I'm Jane Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report. <laughs>